All right, now I have to Eevee train my special defense Pokemon by beating 67 Pikachus to raise the Eevee level to 100. If I can breed this Pokemon 394 times until I get an Impish Nature, which raises its defense stat by two points, I will be able to use a leftover Staller technique that will allow me to use Toxic and outlive the Pokemon by 5.6 health. Pokemon. I see you have strong Pokemon, so do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna earthquake all you motherfuckers! <laughs> What is going on guys, this is Dobbs here bringing you another Pokemon video. And in this video, I'm going to show you 10 things you probably remember wrong in Pokemon. But before we start, I want to introduce our guest for this video. Allow me to introduce Michael from MNJTV. Greetings Pokefans, Michael here. And if you don't know who Michael is, he's another YouTuber who does Pokemon Top 10s, Comedy, and Let's Plays. So be sure to check his channel out. If I had to recommend two videos, it would definitely be these two. And also, Michael and I were doing another video on his channel, 10 to show me things in Pokemon you probably didn't notice as a kid. So don't forget to check that out after this video. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. Ah, uh, Generation 1. Back when there was no egg hatching for the perfect Pokemon, no Eevee or Ivy training, it was all about using Earthquake and Surf. Because those moves had 100% accuracy, and were extremely powerful. That's what we all remember. But what if I told you that's actually wrong? What if I told you that moves like Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, or Ice Beam could miss? And you're probably saying right now, Well of course Dobbs, they can miss, because there's moves like Sanitite that can lower your accuracy. Well, that's true and all, but even with accuracy decreasing moves, these unavoidable moves could still miss. And this is how, the infamous 1 in 256 miss glitch. And it is exactly how it sounds. Back in Generation 1, there was a glitch that caused any move with 100% accuracy to miss for no reason. And the odds of it happening was 1 in 256. And think about it, the odds of you realizing this glitch happening on a 100% accuracy move and remembering it is pretty slim. Something that's very strange and many people probably don't even know about is some of the moves that Pokemon could not learn. For example, Charizard, the notorious fire dragon Pokemon that's actually fire flying type. In the original red, green, and blue games, Charizard, the large winged fire flying type Pokemon could not learn fly. Weird, right? Well, it gets even weirder. In Gen 1, Voltorb and Electrode, the Electric-type Pokemon, could not learn any Electric-type moves by level up. And the same goes for Sandshrew and Sandslash not being able to learn any Ground-type moves by level up. It's a good thing they fixed this in the later games, because that's just silly. The original Pokemon anime was definitely one of the best TV shows during our childhood. It has so many unique characters with their own personality, like Meowth from Team Rocket, or even Jigglypuff who likes to sing, but gets mad when you fall asleep. But what if I told you there was something that you remembered wrong about Jigglypuff? Something that even though it was right in front of you, you probably wouldn't notice. Well, believe it or not, it is strongly hinted that Jigglypuff from the anime is actually a shiny. Even though the colors of her skin and eyes are inconsistent throughout the anime, the official picture for her character on Wikipedia shows green eyes and light pink skin, which is the same colors as a shiny Jigglypuff, which is pretty neat and mind-blowing at the same time. Something that a lot of people remember wrong in Pokemon is the pronunciation of certain Pokemon's names. But what's kind of funny is that one of the most commonly mispronounced Pokemon of all time is either the second or third Pokemon we ever encounter on our journey. This one. As a kid, a lot of you probably pronounce it a Rattata, when in reality, it's actually pronounced Ratata. Funny, right? Well, it gets kind of funnier. Even some of the most popular box art legendary Pokemon are pronounced wrong, such as Groudon being called Groundon or Grudon, and Ho-Oh being called Ho-Ho. Because apparently a lot of you think that this fire-flying phoenix is actually Santa Claus. Or doubly promiscuous. Zubat is probably one of the most popular Pokemons for the wrong reason. We've all seen the memes and pictures about how annoying Zubats are, and how much we encounter them. Well, you remember that wrong too. Although Zubat is encountered frequently in the game, statistically speaking, he is not encountered the most. The likelihood of running into a Pidgey or a Tentacle is significantly higher than running into a Zubat. Because for one, Pidgey appears in most of the region. And for two, Tentacle is basically the only Pokemon you run into while surfing in the water. Poor Zubat. Taking all the hate when there are much, much, much more annoying Pokemon in the game. Remember back in the day where all the Nurse Joys and Officer Jennies looked exactly the same? 
Well, you guessed it, you remembered that wrong also. Turns out, all of these infamous twins wore different symbols on their hats so they could tell each other apart. Crazy, right? I can't believe I never noticed this before. All these years of not knowing which Nurse Joy or Officer Jenny was which, but now we know. Back in Generation 1, there were many water type Pokemon with strange type combinations. I mean, you had Gyarados being water flying, Polyrath being a water fighting, and Golduck being a water psychic. But wait, what if I told you one of those type combinations is wrong? If you had the answer, would you know which one to choose? Well, believe it or not, Golduck is actually a pure water type, and I bet at least half of you guys remember that wrong. Even though in its Pokedex entry it states that Golduck fights with the psychic powers, it still remains as a pure water type. Finding this out for the first time threw millions of Pokemon fans around the world, and sprung up the infamous question, why isn't Psyduck and Golduck a part psychic type? Well, here might be why. It is theorized since the psychic type was very powerful back in Generation 1, having only one weakness, Game Freak decided to get fewer Pokemon this overpowered type. But it's just a theory. Until this day, we don't know the real reason why the psychedelic ducks aren't part psychic type. One thing that a lot of people misremember from the Pokemon anime and games is Pokemon sizes. For example, Charizard. You probably think that Charizard is some big ferocious dragon that can tear down a building in a single swipe. Well, not really. In reality, you're probably around the same height as Charizard, since Charizard stands at a mere 5 foot 7. This is a pretty common misconception, since in the anime, there are a lot of huge Pokemon, such as the Dragonite from the Mystery at the Lighthouse episode, or the Tentacruel from the Tentacool and Tentacruel episode. These Pokemon were portrayed as giant Godzilla-like Pokemon, when in reality, they're only around the size of an average human male. Something that you all probably remember wrong is the generation that some Pokemon are from. Of course, it gets hard keeping track of all the Pokemon when there's 800 of them, but what if I told you there's a Pokemon from the first anime season that you think is from Generation 1, but really isn't? Well, it's Tokabi. Tokabi is actually a Generation 2 Pokemon, and I bet at least 35% of you guys remembered that wrong. I say 35% because I did a Twitter poll on my Pokemon parody account where nearly 6,000 people voted and 35% of them thought Tokabi is from Generation 1. Heck, even I thought Tokabi was from Generation 1 for the longest time. And let me tell you, finding this out for the first time was absolutely mind-blowing. It's a common misconception because Tokabi was in the first Pokemon season of the anime, so everyone just assumes that Tokabi is part of the original 151, but in reality, it's actually a Generation 2 Pokemon. Pretty crazy. Ah, uh, the Pokemon theme song. One of our proudest achievements as children was memorizing the lyrics to the entire song and singing it everywhere. But what if I were to tell you that you've actually probably been singing part of it wrong this entire time? Yes, that's right, the Pokemon theme song is actually written differently than you might remember. Here, have a listen. Sounds the same, right? Well, in reality, the singer is actually saying, teach Pokemon to understand not each Pokemon to understand. This is such a common misconception that even official lyric websites get it wrong. But just look at the Bulbapedia article. It says right there, teach Pokemon to understand. Mind blown. Well, those are 10 things of Pokemon you probably remember wrong. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like if you did. I appreciate it a ton. And if you're enjoying the channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Twitter for fan interactions, video updates, and other cool stuff, follow me at Ethan Dobbs. And for the question of the day, which of these facts did you remember wrong? Let us know down below in the comments. I can't wait to see what you guys have in mind. And I'll see you all next time. See ya.